Hello everybody, this is JT's Unboxings here. I am back, woohoo! And boy, have I got some stuff to unbox for you, near nothing, yes. I don't know why I was lying there, but anyway, I will be unboxing two things today in separate videos. One will be this tank here, which is coming up very shortly, if anything. I don't know why I just stuttered there, strangely. But anyway, I will be unboxing this uh, later on as well. So that will be uploaded probably in two or three days because I'm going to time it and all that. And I'm going to be unboxing this, which is the Yoma Puff. And it's the parrot, apparently. Let's look at the box quick. Uh, this product contains nicotine, which it doesn't because there's no nicotine in it. But that's what happens here in the EU market now. I know, I believe we're at the EU in a way. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, information on the side to make sure you've got a genuine one. On the side it says 12 to 80 watts, 2600 milliamps, an OLED, OLED display, uh, tank capacity is 2 milliliters, and upgrade. And on the back or side, if you will, it tells you more warning information. And uh, yeah, the box looks very plain, nothing on it, you know, showing the, the actual vape device or anything. I got this for travel because I have this when I'm at home at the moment which is by the way the Joy Tech. Now the reason why I never unboxed this is because I wanted to get vaping immediately. Anyway it has the stupid warnings and all that. On the back if you want to pause it right now you can do. There you go. It, anyway it, it says anyway um, Five clicks uh, on, off, or lock. Uh, 12 watt to 80 watts adjustable temperature. Working voltage up to four. Battery capacity 2600. Um, standby current, etc., like that. Uh, overheat safety protection. Tells you about overheating the batteries and such and what to do. Not for pregnant people. Not like I've seen anyone pregnant with one of these things. Anyway. With a large power 80 watts is what's on the back and uh, this is e-cigarette etc and he talks about more about the display anyway I'm gonna use keys because I am very savage um, somehow <coughs> see if I can get it open without um... oh, this is gonna be fun isn't it unboxing my style and it sucks dearly sorry guys ah. Come on, come on. I'm going to have to do this off camera because I feel like an idiot. There we go. Managed to use keys and destruction to get through it. Okay, so now we took the wrapping off and it just shows I haven't been using it. Put them keys to one side. Um, let's have a look at it. <clears throat> so here is the box, obviously. And it opens out just like the iPhones do and all that except for this is less posh and uh, here is the tank and here is the battery mod very tiny I was expecting it bigger than this actually that's what she said probably I don't know anyway let's have a look at it wow that's quite pretty and there's the thread on the top same as this thing right here so it's a little bit less tall to my um, Joytech mod and it's a weird shape as well and a weird button on the top interesting as you can tell look the fire button is on the left not the right like this and um, the display is on this side not on the front and the adjustment is right there very interesting anyway we'll put that to one side as you can see look it already has one of those threads so you can put anything on there anyway as you can tell this is the tank apparently it's a bottom feeder that doesn't look like a um, two milliliter fill to me. Hmm. But it looks pretty nice. It looks more disguised than the smock tank look. As you can tell, it's got the same threading. And um, as you can see, look, it does have the adjustable air vent thing here somewhere. I believe. Come on. Maybe because it's a bit stiff. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it opens out like this, and that's how you fill it up. I believe the coil is right there. 
which is nice. So it's one of those bottom feeders. So as you can tell, it's a pretty nice looking tank. I will be using this. And obviously I'll be using this as well in the future on it. Uh, just to let you guys know. But yeah, I will be using this because um, on the road, you need a backup, don't you? Anyway, let's see what else is in this box. Some, 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 some. Sorry. Opening this out. Oh, you get a spare coil. That's very nice of them. I thought that the coil was separated from the actual tank, but the tank's already got a coil on. Very nice. You know you're getting quality for, what, £27? And uh, you got the USB cable. Always use the USB cable that comes with it. Don't use any old dodgy one, because you want to make sure your battery is safe and easily charged, apparently. Um, looks like one of those old phone cables, or new phone cables, or whatever. Um, you know, the micro we use now, C-type. But uh, I still use the micro because I have the older technology. Anyway, it tells you information about how to charge it, such like that. So let's quickly see what this can do. So I've, I'm going to put the tank on like that. And it seems very easy to put on. Righty tighty, like that. That's what it looks like. Very nice. Um, let's quickly see if the uh, smock tank can fit it. Obviously it should do because it's a universal fitting, but you never know. Again, I want to use this as a backup because this thing does eat up coils. If anyone knows how the smock works, everyone does nearly, but it does eat coils like no tomorrow. As you can see, it fits it just fine. Okay, um, now we've seen the meat and the gravy to this all. Well, I can't really speak today. Sorry. Apologies. <clears throat> anyway, I'm screwing the uh, tank onto the other device. Anyway, let's see if this turns on. One, two, three, four, five, apparently. And it didn't turn on. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I have to look in the instructions, guys. But you do get a nice spare coil, which is nice. Um, let's have a look, shall we? Um, I have a feeling the battery could be dead, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, I think the battery's dead. <laughs> Out the box already and it's dead. Um, so I'm going to have to charge this. But it's nice that you get the spare coil. Um, you get a nice box for what you buy. And you get the USB lead. And, you know, I didn't even get this with this device, to be fair. And I didn't even get the battery. So that is pretty nice that you get all of that. And it's tiny as well. It's well tiny. I mean, if you put them side by side... The Yum Puff is a little bit more smaller. Um, USB cable uh, goes on the bottom, obviously. Hmm. Yeah, she's definitely dead. I can't do nothing about that. So what I might do is actually is uh, give it a bit of a charge up and show you it working. Right, I got her going, or he going. Don't be sexist. Um, it turns out it was flat out of the box, obviously. So I'm going to let this charge, and then we're going to have a look at it properly. But by the looks of it. It uh, seems to be working all right. So basically, it does go up to its recommendation of 80 watts. Well, it's not the recommendation; it's the four watts. Um, as you can see, it actually goes up very quickly, which is nice. And you can also turn it right down to 12, I believe. But I'm going to have it at 40. But yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to give this six hours to charge. And as you can see, look, it's stuck at 12 watts. And as you can see, look, it's actually getting less dim. Because it was very dim to begin with uh, when I first found out that it was working properly. I thought it had a dud. But turns out the battery was completely dead because it was not charged. The idiots in the factory. Anyway, I'm going to let that charge and uh, see how it goes. And what's nice is it does have the indicator when it's charging, so we'll come back to this very shortly. So I am back. Uh, I didn't fully charge it, but I will fully charge it later. Um, so as you can tell, it's already switched on and it says 40, the resistance and the voltage. To change the wattage, you just press the plus and minus buttons, which is right here. So that's plus and that's minus. Your fire button is right there. 
which will start it going. If you taste burning, it's normal. Uh, I would recommend doing the wick first and then, you know, doing this. Um, for a design, I, I kind of like it. You know, it's it's uh, a weird shape, but you know what? It is pretty small for what it is. Very light. And uh, against the smock uh, alien, it's probably going to be even smaller than that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how you change um, voltage on this thing. It wasn't very clear in the instructions. And I keep thinking it's both down. Maybe it's that. There we are. So, one, two, three, click, and then you can change the voltage. All right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Or is it one, two? One, two, three. That's off. This is very confusing, as you can tell. You see, with this thing, it's pretty simple. You just press it like one, two, three, and you change it from power to smart to temperature, and then back to wattage. That's simple, and then it works straight away. This thing is really difficult to use, and I would have thought for a beginner's vape thing, it would be immediate, and for a travel thing, it's very, very difficult to use. Anyway, the instructions are not very clear on this toilet paper piece of sheet here. Let me read it quickly. And adjust the voltage and power. Press the up and down key to increase or decrease the voltage and power. Continue to press up and down key. But it doesn't really say. Safety protection, press plus on in under two seconds. And the screen will rotate. So if you press the up and down key twice. One, two, one, two. One, two. Or is it one, two? No, uh, doesn't do it. Um, see, this is what I mean. These instructions are terrible. So I have to, you know, dislike this product for people that are beginners. Um, so I'm guessing it's one, two, three. And then it changes to voltage. And then you do it again, one, two, three. It back to wattage. So that's how you do it. One, two, three. It'll change the voltage. One, two, three. Change back to wattage. So that's how you change it from wattage to voltage. Won't be a very good beginners this one. This one goes up to 20 seconds before it stops, I believe. I'm not sure. Or is it 10 seconds? You see, you just don't know. This is a very... Um, it's a good device, don't get me wrong, it's a brilliant device for on the road, but it's not very good if you want to be quick with this thing. And as you notice, the voltage goes up as well when this wattage thing goes up. And as I said, it does go up to your preferred 80 watts if you wish to go up that high. So now we're showing you those functions. Let's see if we can do the rotate thing. One, two. Nope, doesn't do anything. So. If you hold onto the button twice, it locks it and unlocks it. Right, let's try this again. Lock. And that's to unlock. No, nope, I've got a clue. It says it does screen rotation, but I can't seem to find that out. If I find it out, um, I'll probably post it, I don't know. But according to this instructions, it says here, Press plus or hold the minus button at the same time. Two seconds. The screen will rotate 180 degrees. Which it doesn't. Watch. Doesn't do anything. All it does is change that. So if I hold them both together for two seconds, watch. Just locks it. No screen rotation. Unless I hold one and then the other. Okay. Now that just locks it. So yeah, I don't think this thing does that rotation thing, so this is a lie. 
Unless they can figure it out for me. I haven't got a clue. Anyway, enough of this. Let's see what it vapes like. Anyway, I've got it on 40 watts. Let's see how, how it vapes. Um, it's a bit weird as well because there's no button on the side. It's actually on this side. So, no wonder they have the rotation thing because it would make more sense this way to press it. But we'll see how it goes. Let's see what it vapes like. As you see, it vapes fine. It tastes a bit like burning, but it's all right. So there you go. It vapes fine. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Jacob, at the end there, known as myself, but I forgot to show you at the end of the video, or at least in the middle of the video, if it works with a tanks apart from this one. Well, I've inserted the smock baby beast right there. And it works. So, yeah. Um, it does work with other tanks. Just make sure you screw it in properly. Uh, because it will just keep saying that it can't work with the tank. But it works. I've enjoyed the unboxing and demonstration. And uh, sorry about the very long ass video. Thanks for being patient if you got this far. But you got some puffs in the end. Anyway, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.